Hi, in this video I will go through some uh, MATLAB examples where you are solving a differential equation using the built-in uh, ODE solvers in uh, MATLAB. Um, so solving differential equations is in MATLAB. Um, MATLAB have uh, lots of built-in functionality for solving differential equations. Um, so MATLAB can solve uh, differential equations uh, on this form. So that it has to be a set of first order uh, differential equations. If there are higher order differential equations, you need to transform it into a set of first order uh, differential equations. Uh, MATLAB has a lot of built-in solvers like uh, ODE E23, which we will use in our examples, but we have also ODE 45 etc um, so you need to look into the help for these different functions in order to see what kind of differential equations they can solve but for ordinary first order differential equations this ODE 23 is uh, good enough so let's go to uh, a simple example in this example we will simulate a, a bacteria population um, so we will create a mathematical model of a bacteria population in a jar and the model is as follows so the birth rate of the bacteria is uh, b times x and b is just a constant and the death rate is p um, uh, x square and then we get the following uh, differential equation which says something about the total rate of change of a bacteria in this uh, jar. And so this, uh, we get this uh, differential equation. Uh, in this example, we can use the following uh, constants, b equal to one and p equal to 0 0.5 uh, bacteria hour. And then the task will be to simulate the number of bacteria of in the jar after one hour uh, assuming in the beginning there are 100 uh, bacteria uh, in the R. So let's go to MATLAB and solve this uh, problem uh, using the built-in ODE functions in uh, MATLAB. So now I have opened the MATLAB and in the command window we can type help and name of the solver for instance ODE23 and then you will get some help um, how to use this function and input arguments you need to use and output so this is ODE23 or uh, click arrow up I can use ODE45 and then you see explanation of how you can use this function with input arguments etc uh, so let's uh, start uh, solving our problem. We start by creating a new script and then we make or create a function. We call a function. So the result should be dx equal to, we can call it uh, bacteria differential equation and the input arguments here should always be t, the time, and x in this case, which is the output of the differential equation. And then we can enter the differential equation dx equal b times x minus P imply with X like this. And then we can have a semicolon. Since we have uh, two constants here, B and P, we need to define them first. So we set B equals to 1 and P equals to 0 0.5 according to the example and then we need to save it so this is the name of the function 
and then of course the name of this file needs to have the same name so by default it gives this uh, name suggest suggestion and then you can just click save so this is our uh, differential equation next we need to create a script uh, that we use uh, in order to solve this uh, differential equation so you just click on the plus here and I will create a new script so then uh, if you look up in the help for the ODE solvers uh, we need to define this output t uh, x equals to now you can use ODE 2, 3 or ODE 4, 5 here we need to enter the name of our differential equation which was uh, bacteria diff like this next input here is according to the help is t span and the start value x zero like this and then we need to define this uh, t span In our case, we should uh, solve this differential equation uh, from zero to one hour. So then the T span will just be zero, one. So the start value and the end value. And then the start value x zero, uh, it, it should be 100 bacteria at, uh, at the start time. So x0 equals to 100 like this and then of course um, we need to plot it so then after the differential equation here where we solve the differential equation we can just use the plot command or the plot function and then we plot t and the time on the x-axis and output of the differential equation which is x in this case like this so now let's also save this uh, task the, oh, sorry this script so we can just uh, name it so bacteria if like this and save it and then we can run it so and you can see what's happening so you see we get this plot, uh, plot so in the beginning there was uh, 100 bacteria and after one hour this is the number of bacteria after one hour so you get this this plot of the which is um, the results of the differential equation You can also get the data here. So the x t is the time, and x is the solution of the differential equation. So this will be a, a long vector with numbers. So in the beginning there was hundred, and then you see it will be fewer and fewer bacteria left in the R, and after one hour there will be about three bacteria left in the R. So this is how you solve uh, a differential equation in uh, MATLAB. So you first need to create an M file or a function uh, where you enter the differential equation and the constants like this. And then next you need to create a new M file or a new script where you define time span and the initial values etc then you use the built-in uh, solvers in uh, MATLAB in order to solve the differential equation which you have defined in this uh, other file and then you need to have this t-span as an 
argument and this start value as a, as a third argument and then you can just plot it plot t comma x like this and uh, next in this example we will see how we can pass uh, parameters to the model so in this case you have a first order differential equation um, where you have some constants in this case a uh, equals to minus 1 over t where t is the time constant in this case and then we have another constant we can set start by setting it b equals to 1 uh, but since we are going to pass the parameters we can easily change the values for a and b without changing uh, the file where it define the differential equation also we set the initial condition x0 to 1 and then the t the time constant to 5 so let's go to matlab and uh, solve this problem in matlab so first i create a new script in order to define this um, differential equation as a function so we just use the function keyword and dx equals to, to the name of the function it could be you can just call it first order diff like this and then the input t x is the ordinary inputs and next you also want to pass these uh, parameters or uh, these constants uh, a and b so you can just call it parameters like this and then we can define this uh, since you have two parameters a you can define a as a since these parameters uh, can be a vector and in this case it needs to have two elements a and b or one one and two so then we can just set a equals to param one like this the first element in the vector and then b equals to param two second element in the vector and then we can define the differential equation bx equals to a times x plus a b like this so this is our differential equation uh, um, we have implemented in a function with this name and these input arguments and the output will be the solution of the differential equation so then we can just save this one just save it name of the function and the m file needs to have the same name we just save it and next we click here on the plus in order to create uh, a script where we can solve our differential equation then we start and um, find our uh, audi solver t times x equals to we can use ODE23 or ODE45 and first name of our function which is when you start with um, uh, this uh, sign so it was first order diff this was our name and then we have this t span start value x0 and then we need to also have this uh, parameter list then first we need to define this um, one two three four fourth input as just empty uh, brackets because this fifth input is this parameter while this fourth input is is uh, not used but we have to def just have it like this this was uh, our um, uh, solver we can put a semicolon and then we can plot it plot t times x in this case and then we have to define this um, start with a t span 
which was in this case uh, from 1 to 25 seconds that was the t-span x0 was 1, the start value uh, we define the constants a and b so a was equal to minus 1 divided to uh, t and then this t was equal to 5 and then we define b so b we start with b equals to 1 like this and then as you see we can easily change them in our script without changing our uh, uh, differential equation file since we have them as an input here and then we can just define this param vector which is equal to in this case a uh, b like this then we have the whole script here so we define the t-span start value the time constant and the a and then b and then we define the parameters um, like this a b which is an input uh, to the solver and then we can just save it we can Call it solve first order diff. You can use here, you can use whatever name, name you like. Save it and then we can run it. So then we got this final results. So in the beginning there was um, the initial condition was one, and then we typically we see we get this typically first order uh, response like this, uh, and then now easily we can change the input parameters a and b. So let's assume that the time constant was uh, six instead or ten, and then we can just change it here and run it once more, and then. The plot is according to the new value or we could change b let's change it to 5 run the simulation once more and then you see the plot is according to our new values so this is um, how we can use matlab uh, to solve differential equation and then we can easily change the parameters since the list of parameters is an input to the ODE solver like this. And remember we have to define two different files. So one file where we define the differential equation. So here we need to define it as a function with a name and the file needs to have the same name as the function. And then define the differential equation here inside this function and then create a new script where we use and the built-in one of the built-in uh, solvers in uh, MATLAB here we have used ODE45 we could have used ODE23 and probably we would get the same results like this uh, next in this example we just see how we can solve an ordinary differential equation like this with the um, starter value uh, Simulation time uh, t0 is uh, 0 and then the final time is uh, 5 seconds and then the initial value is 1 in this case. Um, but the problem here, um, uh, MATLAB uh, need to have it on a sp specific format. So the first thing we need to do is to rewrite the differential equation on this form. So we have the der derivative on the left side and all the others on the right side like this. So this one has to be alone on the left side and all others parameters has to be on the right side. So uh, rewriting the differential equation like this, then you can easily implement it in uh, MATLAB. 
So we start to define the function, create a new script, and then enter this function for this uh, differential equation. Mm, the function, the name of the function, and the input, and uh, defining the differential equation like this. Next, we define the script where we are going to solve the differential equation. So we use the same built-in OD solvers in this case, OD23, we can use OD45, and the name of the differential equation for the file, which we are defined here. The T-span, we define the T-span from 0 to 5 seconds, then we define the start value, which we define here. And then finally we can uh, plot it. First we just save it. We can call it uh, sol sol diff task 3, like this. And then we can just run it. And then you see we get this, these results. In this example, we will use a MATLAB to solve a second order differential equation uh, given by this example. Uh, where we have these uh, conditions um, here. That in order to solve higher order differential equations in uh, MATLAB, we need to put it on a, a set of first order differential equations. So we need to transform this second order differential equation into two first order uh, differential equations. And so the way to do this is to reformulate the differential, equ differential equation. So th we have um, the first order derivative alone on the left side, and then next we can set V, double V equal to x1 and w uh, dot equal to x2. So we, have, we will have two first order differential equations, x1 and x2. So the way to do it is like this. So first, the first step was to rewrite so the higher order derivative is left alone on the left side and everything else on the right side and then next we set w equal to x1 and then uh, w dot equal to x2. And by doing that we get these two first order differential equations. So then x1 derivative is equal to, as you see here, is equal to x2. And then x2 derivative is equal to to this one. So we get then 2 minus 2tx2 two minus 3x1 uh, divided uh, by this uh, expression. So now we have a transform our first second order differential equation into a set of two first uh, differential first order differential equations and now we can use the ordinary solvers in MATLAB in order to solve these equations. So we start by creating this uh, function where we define the differential equation. So function dx equal to, to the name of the function, we can call it um, second order. Second order diff or something. And the input is t and uh, x in this case. And then we need to define these two uh, differential equations. Now we have two, so then we have dx, and then we use this vector notation one. So dx one equals to x2 and then we use the same vector notation like this so, so this is x2 this is the first uh, equation and then next dx 
and then you use this uh, vector notation dx2 equals to according to the formula 2 minus 2 times t multiply with x2 so then we use the same vector notation minus 3 uh, times x1 this is this vector notation once more this one has to be div divided by this um, one plus t times like this so this is our uh, differential equation like this so now uh, we have defined our function where we have defined our two differential equation according to to these two formulas so instead of using this notation we use on paper x1 x2 etc we in matlab we need to use this uh, vector notation so then we will get a vector um, where one of them will be x1 and the other one will be the answer for x2 so this is how we define these two equations in matlab syntax so notice this vector notation and just save our function and then next we start creating uh, this script in order to solve it so we define this um, ODE solver function we are going to use like this name of the differential equation second order diff like this t span and the start value x0 like this then we need to define t span which was as you remember from the um, uh, here from the um, task from 0 to 5 define it as a vector 0 5 like this this is the t span x0 was defined as um, also a vector and um, uh, sorry a t span so if you go back to this um, so the initial value for x1 then will be 0 and the initial value for x2 will be 1. So since we have two equations we need to also define it as a vector in uh, MATLAB. So then we define 0, semicolon, 1, like this. This is a uh, vector with two elements. So this is the start condition for x1 and this is the start condition for x2 and then finally you can uh, plot it plot t times x like this and then you can just save it save the script solve second order diff like this and then you can run it yeah, as you see, when I started to run this script, we get an error. So the second order diff must return a column vector. So the thing we need to do is go to our differential equation and just make it a column vector uh, like this. So it's just set dx equal to dx transform uh, like this, which makes this a column vector. Uh, since you just transform it since I know the answer will be uh, a matrix with two columns 
uh, like this and then you can just save it and then go back to our function where we solve the differential equation and then run it once more and then you see we get two plots this time which which is uh, x1 and x2 in order to see which one, which is x1 and which is x2 we can also use this uh, legend so like this legend and say x1 x2 like this let's see what's happening now and then you can easily see that uh, sorry uh, yeah the blue is x1 and the red is x2 like this if you only want to plot let's say x1 we can do like this so then i just comment out these two lines and just create a new plot so you will plot t comma x but we will not plot both x and 2 only x1 so then we can define like this all all the rows in the second column like this and then we can run it once more and you see we will only get to plot one of them or we could have one instead so now we plot x1 now we plot x2 like this so then we can either easily just show x1 or x2 or showing both like this here we plot both x1 and x2 and then also you see the output here uh, for x it's a matrix with two columns so this is the solution the first column here is the solution for x1 and the second column is the solution uh, for x2 so that's how uh, you solve a second order differential equation in uh, matlab so that's all about uh, how to solve differential equations in uh, matlab both uh, first order differential equation and higher order differential equation but with higher order differential equations we need to put it on a first order form so then we need to transform it and use uh, this vector notation i showed you so good, good luck with uh, matlab and solving differential equations